I'm gonna show you how you can add 20 years to the life of your water heater tank by installing this electric anode rod. Let's jump right in. If you have a gas water heater, turn the dial to pilot. If it's electric, turn it off at the breaker. Turn off the cold water supply to the water heater. Open up the hot water side of a faucet to drain some of the water down and relieve tank pressure. I'm also going to attach a garden hose to the drain valve of the water heater because I want to drain this tank down just a few inches. Now we're ready to remove the old sacrificial anode rod. Tools needed for this may vary, but an inch and 1 16th deep socket will be essential. I'll leave a link to the socket in the video's description. Anode rods prevent tank corrosion as the water will attack and corrode the rod first before the tank, preventing internal tank leaks and ultimately extending the water heater life. This manufacturer claims it will last 20 years. When prepping the new anode rod, it's recommended to Teflon the threads. I like to add some Teflon paste on top of the tape. Locate your anode rod on top of the water heater. It should be a dedicated hole that may have a plastic outer cover. I removed the exhaust flue to make the access to the anode rod a little bit easier. This is the part that can be the hardest. And if you haven't replaced your rod before and your tank is over three to four years old, you might have some trouble removing the old rod. This water heater's age is right about three years. Even with an extended breaker bar, I couldn't get this one to budge. One might strap the water heater to keep it from rocking, but I wanted to try an impact drill first. In my case, the 18 volt Ryobi impact was easily able to break the rod free for removal. You can see the corrosion on the old anode rod doing exactly what it was designed to do. The new powered anode rod takes the inch and 3 16th socket. Although the socket is not completely necessary, it does make it a little faster to install. Here I'm removing a screw from the water heater to hook up the ground wire, then reinstalling the screw with the ground wire attached. Hook up the spade connection to the top of the anode rod. Turn back on the cold water supply to the water heater and make sure that the tank's full before plugging in the powered anode rod. The green light on the plug lets you know that the rod is on. Bleed the air out of the water heater by opening a hot faucet valve. Reinstall the flue and turn the water heater back on. Thanks so much for watching. For more water heater maintenance tips, check out this video here, an advanced way to flush out your hot water tank.